Good morning. They were correct. This is amazing grace. The very fact that we were able to get out of bed this morning, come in and just join together as brothers and sisters in faith, it's amazing grace. And thank God for all the grace that he bestows on each of us, all the blessings he gives to each of us, not just today, but every day of our lives. And I'm thankful that I could be here with you today. And as always, you know, I like to say, there's other choices we have, there's other places we could be. We made the correct choice. We're here together to offer our thanks and praise for everything that, that God has given to us. And uh, that's a wonderful thing that we could come together and do that. And uh, you're going to hear the Word of God today. You're going to hear and read about God's great love for you through His Son, through our Savior Jesus. And it, but in addition to hearing and reading about God's love, I pray that while you're here, you experience some of God's love. So if you're able to, stand up now, greet those around you in the love of God. So my prayer for all of you here this morning is that you would be lifted up by God's life-changing and life-saving word. That in his word you would find all you need to manage your lives according to his, his word and will. And then in the next life, you would be able to just live happily with no worries, with nothing but happiness. That in that word you would see and learn that all you really need in life he has daily and richly provided you already. I pray that you would give your burdens and fears and worries to God alone and to Jesus who died to, to remove these from you. But most of all, today I pray that everyone will leave here today knowing that you are indeed children of God. Children of God the Father, children of God the Son, children of God the Spirit. And you have no reason to worry about anything. You have no reason to worry about whatever is happening in this sinful world. Because he has a plan to make all repairs. He will fix everything that has been destroyed. So be strong. Fear not. Because God is in control. Amen. God bless you. God bless the peace and strength and love that you find in God the Father. God the Son, God the Spirit. Amen.